different than what they do offensively, and they just get it done every single time. 37 nothing win over uh, a really tough Maplewood team. And again, nothing to hang their, their head about after this season. Great run for them, great run for the Metro School, making it to the Blue Cross Bowl, and um, I think they've got a bright future with Coach Arsene Dave Broome there also. Runners up in 2009, now back-to-back -back state champions in 4A, the Greenville Green Devils. And here's how they did it. The final score, 37 to nothing over Maplewood as we check out the highlights from earlier today. Greenville's first possession, touchdown rushing for quarterback Tanner Stewart. You're going to see a lot of number 10 on this game. With the keeper, it's a touchdown, 7 nothing Greenville. A minute 44 to go in the first quarter. 255-pound tailback Jamil Hall uses his six-foot frame to go in for the touchdown, 14 nothing after one. This is the second quarter. Look at Greenville just carry the pile with Hall's just durability there, and then he goes in standing up. The score 21 nothing at the half. Third quarter now. Here goes Hall once again. Unbelievable. Look at the big guy run. I mean, it seems like anytime they needed a third down, they went to the big guy, Jamel Hall, and he got it done. Yeah, Tanner Stewart with another keeper. It's 28 nothing Greenville over Maplewood. Maplewood quarterback Alvin Stokes trying to make something happen here. Throws deep. It's picked off by Greenville. Greenville gets the ball back. Here goes Jamil Hall once again. Picks up the first down. No, fumble recovered by Maplewood there in the third quarter. And look at the contribution of the stars for Greenville, too. You got Jamel Hall, the Mr. Football finalist, Terrell Rollins, Mr. Football Award winner, and they got it done all day long. And then. I think Tanner Stewart yes. putting the finishing touches on the game for Greenville. I tell you what, they don't do a lot. If you watch them call plays on the sideline, Kane Ballard, even he just throws up three fingers at some times. I don't know how many plays they have. They don't need many because they're so good at what they do. Stewart also involved the arm there with the touchdown strike. On the other end, Maplewood nearly had a touchdown pass there. They get the ball back, kick a field goal, and that's your final score. Greenville, the Green Devils, your back-to-back -back state champions in 4A, 37 to nothing, the victory over Maplewood. Greenville just way too deep to go up against this Maplewood squad. Just dominant, Jonathan, and for a team to win 77 to seven during the playoffs, uh, you know they're pretty good. Right. I mean, they've been a machine all year long. No big surprise there. I think defensively, what they were able to do against Maplewood was the biggest surprise of the game to me. But for Maplewood, it's a game of missed chances. With Darius Van Leer, their outstanding running back, had some chances. Now, Greenville did an outstanding job against them. He had a chance for a kickoff return for a touchdown. He threw him in the first half at 14 to nothing, and uh, made a break towards the middle, gets tackled. Game could have been different there, but Greenville just continued to roll. Maplewood, a great defensive team all year, only allowing 8.5 points per game. Talking to Arcente Broom at halftime, he said, we've got to tackle better. And that didn't get any better in the second half for those guys. And a disappointing ending, but a great season for Maplewood nonetheless. And congratulations to both teams, both Greenville and Maplewood. Earlier today, Friendship Christian with a 34 to nothing victory over Dresden as we check out the highlights from the 2A state title. And Talon Mayhoff, the quarterback for FCS, got things